Does cupping remove toxins? Question for you. Do you ever feel tired, fatigued, run down, just like you can't get your step back? Maybe you're doing all the right things. You're exercising, you're, you're getting all the nutrition that you're supposed to you know, be getting, but it's just not enough. You just can't reboot and get the energy that you once had or know that you ought to be able to have by looking at your peers. Well, consider that one of the reasons might be that you have toxins in your body and it doesn't matter how much good stuff we put in our body, if we're not getting rid of the toxins, that's gonna be a problem. There's a lot of ways to eliminate toxins uh, and there's some ways that we often don't think about that can really give us a, uh, an advantage. And that's with cupping. Cupping literally pulls toxins from the body so it can get out into circulation and be eliminated by the body. So uh, imagine that um, I have, well, toxins have an affinity for joints. They can settle in the joints. So if I've got some toxins here in my arm, um, how am I gonna get them out? You know, I can drink a lot of water, but it's still going past the joint. I need to create a vacuum. I need to create some suction in and around the areas that have the toxins. And that's gonna to help to draw the toxins out so that they can go through the circulation, through the lymph nodes, get circulated and eliminated through the body uh, in, in one of a few ways. Uh, I think uh, you can think about which ways they, they leave the body. But that's not the important thing. It's not having something stuck in the body and how can you get something unstuck? Well, by mechanically creating a vacuum, draw those toxins out with cupping and try it on. Now talk to your uh, medical provider or your uh, local Soma Integrative Medicine representative about how to approach uh, cupping for toxins. Why? What we see is if you have a lot of toxins build up in your body, when they all release at one time, you can feel nauseous, you can feel under the weather. Sometimes it's called uh, a healing crisis. You may not want all the toxins to be released at one time. So there might be a, an approach, gentle cupping, to start the process of removing toxins, and then we can do more of a heavy uh, cupping therapy when, when you're ready. And make sure you drink plenty of water before your cupping therapy and afterwards, but not too close to your cupping because you don't want to have to use the restroom while you're laying there with cups. But that's another story. Talk to our Soma medical provider and uh, hit the subscribe button, follow us on social media to learn more tips on how to be a healthier you.